So, how can you get more kills in Black Ops 4 Blackout? That's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. And to be quite honest, it's actually not that difficult. A lot of people think there's some like mad science shit behind it. And they just didn't. It is really simple. So, I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips to get more kills in Black Ops 4 Blackout. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, first things first, I'll just get it straight out of the way. You need to be able to shoot a weapon. If you can't do that, you have got no hope and you should probably go and work on your shooting in Black Ops 4 multiplayer before you jump into Blackout. So, if you can shoot, you don't have to be a great shooter, bearing in mind, but as long as you can shoot mildly straight, that's fine. My first tip would be to pick your landing spot carefully. You don't want to go somewhere that's too crowded, but you don't want to go somewhere that's too quiet. If you like, say, do you know the helicopter line? If you was in yesterday's video, you know what I'm talking about. If you've got the helicopter line and it's right over Nuketown, like the first landing spot that people go to is Nuketown. You don't want to land there because you can guarantee every man and his uncle and his dog and his cat and his mouse and his hamster will land there. So like I said, you want to pick somewhere that's going to be a little bit busy, but obviously not so busy that you have no time to get up a gun. And then before you know it, you've got a bullet in your bum. So th that's the first tip. Pick your landing spot carefully. Don't go somewhere where you know it's going to be intensely busy and go somewhere where you know there'll be people landing there, but not an, an insane amount where you just get overrun by everyone. Next tip, a link in with my first tip. And once you've picked your landing spot, you want to get down there as fast as possible. So as always say, when you jump out of the helicopter, that little bar to the right, you want to go straight down and you want to hit 70. Once you hit 70 on the little bar on the pull down bar, you want to pull up. And then glide to wherever you're going. That's the quickest, most efficient way to get to your lens spot. Because if you can pick up a weapon before everyone else, you've got easy gunfights and easy kills right in front of you. Because they're not going to have a weapon. They're not going to punch you to death. Like I said earlier, if you can't shoot, even that straight to be fair, you'll be able to kill someone. Even if you can't shoot a weapon. Even if it's like you've got half the right, it's in your hands and you have to nose your controller. Like, you'll still be able to get that kill. So, there are some easy kills straight off the bat. The second you jump out of the helicopter, if you're there first, and you're the first one to pick up a weapon, you've got easy kills. Kills that the team, the other teams can't even compete with, because all they've got is FS and maybe some body armor. My next tip is maneuver around the map accordingly. So, you know how it's on like the third circle, it's almost down to the last 20 players, and you know you're going to get your top 5 or top 10, and you're gassed up. Right, you don't want to run straight and bomb it for the middle of that circle because you can get shot from way too many directions. Yes, you might get a few more kills, but yes, you will die also a lot quicker because, in fact, you might not even get any more kills because no one's going to really do that. No one's going to see that circle and go, Do you know what, lads? Let's run for the center, we'll be in for the next circle. You want to maneuver yourself around the edge of the circle so you don't get killed. Because with the storm behind you, that eliminates one spot that you can't get killed from. You can't get killed from the back, which is always helpful. And you can't get killed from the side, which again, is always helpful. If you go straight to the middle, you can get killed from every side around that circle. Because of all the teams around the circle not doing what you're doing, which is a dippy move. So maneuver yourself around the map and around the circles accordingly. So you don't, you know, get killed from in the back or in the side is pick your weapons wisely. You don't want to be using SMGs or shotguns. They are a fat no-no. If you pick up an SMG or a shotgun, it's an instant loss. In fact, including a Maddox. That may be an assault rifle, but it is pitiful at medium to long range. It is only good at close range, which is crazy considering it's an assault rifle. So you only really want to stick to weapons like the ABR, the KM-44... Put the snipers, Koshka, Paladin, Outlaw, any long to mid range weapon is your best bet. In this gameplay here, I'm using the KM44 and an SDM. They're mid to, to long range weapons, and that's what you want because you're never going to really, unless you're jumping straight at the start, you're never going to get in gunfights at close range. Literally, never. If you look in this gameplay here, I think I get in, I don't even think I get into one close range gunfight that's not at the start. Anything, when I left Fracking Tower earlier on this gameplay, I didn't encounter someone that was from where me to my teammate are. So, you want to use mid to long range weapons constantly. 
My last tip is pick up nades because they are so helpful. Nades and concussions can win you games. If you've tagged someone up and they're one shot, you know they're one shot. You're in range for a nade. You can chuck a nade, get a nice easy kill. And if there's a group of them, you can get about four kills. So pick up nades. A lot, a lot of people do it. And it is by far the best thing to do in Black Ops 4 Blackout because they're just so helpful, so useful and so effective. That has been it for me, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any more questions on how you want to win in Black Ops 4 Blackout, then let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any other questions on Blackout or Blackout related, also let me know down in the comment section below because I'll be able to answer pretty much all your questions. If you have any tips on how to win or how to get more kills, I've done a video in yesterday's video, so make sure you check that out if you want to know how to win. I did how to get more kills in this video, and tomorrow I've got another video lined up for you guys. So that has been it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all had a fantastic day. If you are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Drop a like if you did enjoy. And leave any comments down in the comment section below. This is Luki, and I'm signing out. Peace.